everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today i'm going to be showing you how to download and install inventory hud plus which reminds me a lot of a mod that used to be out called armor status hud so i'm going to be using those two names interchangeably now inventory hud plus has a lot more features than armor status hud as you can see some of them here but you can see the status of your armor right there it is using this mod so as you can see and last but not least the feature is armor hud so i do have both of these mods mentioned they will be mentioned interchangeably through the entire video because armor status hud sadly hasn't been updated in years and inventory hud plus kind of checked or stepped in to take that over. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get this mod installed, but first we have a from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running quickly and easily with Apex Minecraft Hosting. We actually love and test Apex so much, we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on Apex Minecraft Hosting, and again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and download Inventory HUD Plus. To do this, you want to go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is the official Inventory HUD Plus download page, where we want to come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down until we see Minecraft 1.16. Under that, we do see Forge 1.16.5 right there for Inventory HUD Plus, and we want to go ahead and download that. Make sure you are downloading the Forge version of Inventory HUD Plus. This will not work if you are not downloading the Forge version for 1.16.5. After a few seconds, the download will begin in the bottom left. As you can see, it says Inventory HUD in the title, so we are safe to keep it. You will also need to save or keep this file in your center of your screen if you are on Mozilla Firefox, but on Chrome, again, keep it in the bottom left. Now, we're not done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge. Luckily, in the description down below, the third link down below, you will actually find this. This is our in-depth guide to downloading and installing Forge for Minecraft 1.16.5. We're going to be going through the basics in this video, but if you need a more in-depth look, this video and article right here will help you out. Nevertheless, once you're here, just scroll down and click on the green Download Forge button. That will take you off to Forge's official website, where we want to make sure MC 1.16.5 is selected. As you can see here, it does say MC 1.16.5, but if it doesn't say that there for you, you want to come over here to the left-hand side, click on plus 1.16, and then click on 1.16.5. Come under Download Latest and click Installer. When you click on that, it will take you off to Add Focus, where stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Do not click a single thing on this page except the red skip button in the top right. The only thing you want to click on this page is the red skip button that appears after 10 seconds in the top right nothing else i cannot stress this enough only click the red skip button in the top right when you click on that red skip button it's going to download forge in the bottom left here as you can see forge-1.16.5 so because it says forge in the title you are safe to keep the file almost though firefox it will pop up in the center of your screen where you want to save it as long as it does have forge in the title now let's go ahead and minimize our browser and here on our desktop we do have both inventory hud plus and the forge mod loader these aren't in your desktop no worries they're going to be found in your downloads folder to find that click the little windows icon in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Look at that little icon like on the top or bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and type in downloads and then have this downloads folder here. When you click on that, you will find Forge and Inventory HUD here. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and start off by installing Forge. To do this, you want to right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Well, if that's the case, you want to go ahead and download Java. Here is our tutorial on how to download and install Java. It's on our website. It goes over how to get Java for Minecraft mods and Minecraft servers. Obviously, Inventory Hub Plus is a Minecraft mod, so you need to download this version of Java. It's a quick little three-step process, and we do have an in-depth video as well. At that point, you should be able to open up Forge with Minecraft, but just in case you can't, we do have the jar fix as well. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them up to Java right like so. It's very, very helpful and something that many people do. It will actually fix your icons not looking like this. If your icons don't look correct and don't look like mine, running the jar fix will fix that. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With. Now we've installed Java, so we should have Java here if you didn't before and then click OK. It's then going to open up the mod system installer for Forge where we just want to click on install client and click OK. It's then going to download, install, do everything it needs to do to get Forge set up and running in Minecraft 1.16.5. It's literally going through everything. It's waiting. There we go. Finished. Successfully install client profile Forge version 1.16.5. We go and click OK. It will close out of that and we are all done installing Forge. We now need to make sure that we open up Minecraft with Forge. To do that, open up the Minecraft launcher and then once you're here, you may have your Forge profile already selected. If you do, and it says 1.16.5-Forge under it, you're good. If you don't, click on this little arrow, and you do have this Forge profile. If you've got that, click on that. 1.16.5-Forge, that's what I was talking about. It should say they say this under it, and then click Play. But what if you don't have Forge here, or what if it doesn't say that version, 1.16.5? In that case, go ahead and click on Installations, and first, make sure you have this little modded tick box checked up here in the top right. So as you can see, once I tick that, Forge disappears. It's no longer here. Click it again, Forge appears. If that's the case, and again, it has the correct version, go ahead and click Play. But if it doesn't have the correct version, or Forge still doesn't appear, even with the modded checked up here in the top right, you want to go ahead and click Plus New. Now you can name this whatever you want, play.breakdowncraft.com, 
what we're going to name it. The reason for that is because that is our own incredible server. We have Grief Protected Survival, Medieval Survival, 30 Custom Quests, Player Based Economy, Aquatic Survival, Awesome Slash, Shop Based Economy, but most importantly, our Skyblock server is top notch. Literally one of the best out there with incredible custom quests, custom challenges, custom minions. Everything on there is amazing. You will absolutely love it. So come play with us at playdartbreakdowncraft.com. You will absolutely love it. Again, playdartbreakdowncraft.com is the IP. Can't wait to see you online. Nevertheless, once you've got your name entered here, the most important part is clicking the version drop down box and then selecting release 1.16.5-forge. Now, right here, this is for me, right? For you, it may be down a ways or whatever. Mine's right up here towards the top. So go ahead and click on that. Then I'm gonna change our resolution. Doesn't matter, you don't have to do this, but uh, I'm doing it so we can see once we get in game. Finally, click the green create button in the bottom right, and we have this new playdartbreakdowncraft.com profile, but most importantly, it has 1.16.5-forge under it. Go ahead and hover over that and click on the green play button. You'll think of this warning, basically it's saying, you're playing modern Minecraft, is that okay? Go ahead and click you understand the risk and it won't warn you again about this and we can go ahead and click play. Now Minecraft 1.16.5 is gonna open up with Forge install. The hard part of getting out armor status HUD slash inventory HUD plus is over, right? That, that, that's the hard part. The hard part is done. The easy part is actually installing the mod. So uh, now we just kind of have to wait until the Minecraft main menu. It's going ahead and opening up here. I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick little jump cut and I'll meet you once we're on the main menu. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. From here, all we want to do is click on the mods tab and then click on open mods folder. Again, for the main menu, click on mods and then open mods folder. Once you open that up, we want to go ahead and take inventory HUD plus and drag and drop that into our mods folder. This is again a time we can check that, make sure it does say 1.16.5 and it does say forge in the file. As you can see, it does say both of those there, so we're good to go. Now, if we go ahead and close out of our mods folder, it won't be in here, right? The, the mod's never going to appear until we restart Minecraft. So let's go ahead and click done and click quick game. Now, it's important that we open up Minecraft with one of those forge profiles that we have. Now, again, those are already set up, so you just have to select them and click play. Mine is already selected here. As you can see, play.breakdowncraft.com, and it does say, most importantly, 1.16.5-forge. If yours isn't, just select it by clicking that, and uh, yeah, by clicking this little arrow and then selecting it there, and you'll be good. Now, let's go ahead and click the green play button. Most importantly, when it's opening up, let's look for something. So when the early forge mod loader opens up here, you'll be able to see completed deep scan of inventory HUD. That basically means the mod's recognized. It's in the correct place. Now we just have to hope it opens. It's going to open. That's why you're watching this tutorial. But, but, but it's not always going to work for all Minecraft mods. If you have a mod that shows up there and it doesn't work, you're like, why? It's probably because it's the wrong version or something. But for this one, it is correct. So now we just kind of have to wait. And I always like to do from that point, until I get to the main menu as one solid take because I don't want anybody saying, you tricked me, this doesn't work for me, all this stuff, you did a jump cut. Anyway, here we are. So let's go ahead and click on mods. And now there's the inventory HUD plus Forge Edition installed. Awesome stuff. Now, one thing I will mention is this link right here is actually the one that we have back over here that you clicked on at the very, very beginning of the video. And there is some interesting information in here about how to diff change different things, right? So nevertheless, you can change a few things in the config mod button in the main menu. So once we are here in the mod button, there is config and let's click on that again. So that's mods, click on the mod and then we do have config. And this allows you to change some different things. Armor status, is it on or off? Inventory HUD, is it on or off? Potions, is it on or off? And then HUD positions, right? Where do you want this? This stuff. For example, I want kind of the inventory over here on this side. I want the armor up here in the top right, and I want potions in the top left. Um, actually, we're going to move inventory because of my webcam to the left hand side. Now, if we go ahead and go back, we can go ahead and see all of these again. You can also change different mini modes and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and just check this out in game. That's the most important part, right? So let's go ahead and we'll jump into the ultimate survival guide world. Yeah, we're updated. That's fine. And I will see you once we do get in game after a very quick jump cut. So here we are in game. And as you can see, we do have all the different stuff. We've got our armor up here. We've got our inventory in the bottom left. So that's really, really cool. You can see all of the different inventory is in the bottom left, exactly how it's laid out here on screen. And we can move these around as well from the main menu, that mod config tab. But most importantly, let's go ahead and put some armor on. Uh, I'm just going to give my Myself. I'm, oh, is this really not? Oh, wow, this was a cheat world. My bad. Let's go ahead and uh, fix that real fast. Let's go ahead and go into creative, and I'm going to give myself some armor. So we're just going to do diamond armor here. I give myself a full diamond armor set, and we will throw that on. And then let's go into survival again here. And we can throw this on. We'll see in the top left up here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. All of that is now selected. If we do select a tool, it does tell you how much life your tool has in the top left as well. And then in our off hand, we'd have torches. If we remove that, it will, you know, add those and remove those back. And then uh, I honestly don't know what the other two markers are, to be honest with you. I, I have no idea. Maybe you all can fill me in on that in the description or in the comment section below. Uh, we do have poison effects as well, but uh, let's see, maybe we can, yeah, let's go ahead and give ourselves, give ourselves 
So give myself a potion or a splash, maybe is it? I forget what these are. These are called. So thanks to some awesome creativity, also known as creative mode, we can now go ahead and give ourselves some potion effects, and you'll see those appear in the top right. So we do have two potion effects up there: the top one being night vision, and the bottom one being speed one. So if we go ahead and, we're, for example, we'll jump down here. It is a very, very bright for it to be underground, uh, and specifically, you know, if we were to do some do some mining definitely be able to see we can see back there much more than we should be able to but nevertheless there you have it that's how you can get the inventory hud plus mod also known as armor status in my book because it has some of the same features in the top left up there but nevertheless my name is nick this has been the breakdown thank you so so much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com the best minecraft server in the multiverse i am out peace